Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tech It 2 with me, Gothic. And today we are going to have a look at Industrial Craft. We are also going to go down into the mines to have a look to get some more resources. And we will also have a quick look into seeing how our bees work and how to gather rubber. So join me along and I hope you enjoy. I was just down here in the mines and I had come across a skeleton that was hitting me like a truck and then a zombie that did not look like a zombie at all popped out of nowhere just poof midair not even midair just came out of nowhere and started attacking me but we are in the mines we are collecting some nice old goodies we're just exploring these long caverns and we will see you topside. We're just peering across this little ravine that we found, and I have managed to find myself some diamonds. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's just secure the area, make sure there's nothing about that will jump up on us and try to take what we deserve. We'll go down there as well. Let's gather up these diamonds and let's get exploring. I don't think I've ever come across a a biome like this underground before. This is this is very new to me. This is very interesting in my opinion. Someone's got to tell me what this biome is called because I have not got a clue in the world. So I wasn't recording for this, but I managed to find an emerald down here. So that would be great to put into the transmutation table once we're able to make one. So I'm just going to wrap up mining right now, get these last few bits of ores, and then I'll meet you topside. So you just join me back straight out the mines. We have some nice goodies to show you guys. We've got some nice materials, a nice bit of diamonds, emeralds, ancient home from Zombie Dungeon. At the moment, we're going to try and dive into the basics of industrial craft. So at the moment, we need to get some rubber. To get rubber, we have to look for these types of trees here. They're rubber trees. And we have to make something called a tree tap. And we look around the tree, and we look on each single bit of the bark and we look for these these are the little nodes that we have to tap with these tree taps so we right click and we get sticky resin we've got to make sure we get a sapling from this nice we've got a sapling if we do if we do leave the logs standing we will get more rubber over time but I'm going to take them down and replant them um, just over here. See, there's another rubber, rubber tray over there. We can always go and tap that in the future. So, before I was smelting some rubber to make into resin. So, we have to think about, figure, figure out how to make copper cables. We need copper and rubber. So, let's smelt some copper up. And make some cables. While I'm waiting for those to smelt up, I'm just going to run around the area and collect some more of these winter beehives. This would be really helpful for us to get some nice 
frozen combs and hopefully some power in the future. So to make copper cables we are going to need three bits of copper and six pieces of rubber and that will get us six copper cables and with those copper cables we need to look at making a generator first so what do we need to make a generator so we can either use an iron furnace and some refined iron in the battery a furnace a machine block or an re battery so i think we're going to go for this one here so to make a machine block it is eight refined iron that's easy enough and for the re battery four tin two redstone and a copper cable so I was smelting some tin off here. Let's grab a bit of redstone and let's make ourselves a RE battery. And there we go. At the same time, let's make our machine block. To make refined iron, all you need to do is put iron ingots in a furnace and you'll get refined iron. So let's make ourselves a new furnace. Furnace on the bottom, machine block in the middle, and an RE battery on the top to make ourselves a generator. To move this generator, we will need a bronze wrench. So to make a to make bronze, here we go. We're going to need bronze dust, and that involves making tin dust and copper dust. We can't get dust until we make ourselves a macerator. So to make a macerator, here it is. Is an electric circuit six cables two redstone and refined iron so i will be back once i have gathered all the resources to make this macerator so you join me back i have managed to create all the materials needed for the macerator so we've got the electron circuit the machine block we've got the flint and the cobblestone so let's make the macerator and i did a little oh there we go double trouble so the macerator will double your ores so anything you put in it or wise it will give you a dust version and then you can create that into a ingot so i made this little extension to house our little new area so if we pop the macerator there for now and let's hook them up and fuel this so let's go and grab some coal let's grab this much for now pop that in and this now has power so for example let's put some tin a bit of tin and that will slowly over time create our dust and these slots here are for upgrades so if we scroll down here we've got loads of upgrades on this section so the overclocker makes it go faster and I'm not sure what the others do we'll find that out together so for an overclocker we're going to need these types of materials but we haven't got the facilities for that at the moment so later on we will be making some upgrades and as you can see we get dust so when we can take this dust and we can put it in the furnace when we are ready so we're also going to have to create something called a bat box so that's an LV transformer, a bat box. So these are these are your basic batteries in industrial craft. They will store excess energy and then they will output them to machines that are in use. So we're going to need three RE batteries. So we're going to need three of this recipe. So there's one. I haven't got the materials to make enough at the moment, but let's have a quick look. How many can we make? Oh, we can make two more. That is perfect. And then bat box. There we go. That's simple enough. So if I'm correct, that is oh, it's charging. Oh, nice. I assume that is the output. So we're going to need to rotate that, but we can't do that until actually. We'll just do that now. That will be charging and that's the output and that will output to our macerator so that will slowly burn away the coal and we'll charge our bat box up and our macerator still in use 
So this is the basic setup really, and you can add your pipes to automate it and later in the series we'll be creating an automated system. So as I was gathering wood to create the little extension we got over there, I found this. It is a wild cherry tree and it produces these wild cherries. And if I'm not mistaken, this can be used in tree breeding and tree things really so this is what the bees are used for they will pollinate these two trees together to make a new tree but i'm not too sure if these two trees can mix and make something new so i'll go away and research that between episodes next but i also saw that these bees were done so we'll just restock them and take the comb away and all these other bees are still doing their thing that's great, great stuff. We've also got the rubber coming along nicely. So that will still produce rubber, even though there's no leaves on it. So, there's not much really I would like to do this episode anymore. We will continue to put our materials inside this macerator to get ourselves a nice chunk of ores. But between episodes, I'll go mining, I'll go and get some more coal, and I will make sure all these ores are macerated and ingot, ingot up for the next episode. So, I would just like to thank you for joining me once again in my new series. And I hope you enjoyed today, really. It didn't do much entirely, but thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care.